Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyberpunk. When we last left off, we had finished the third and final race. Oh, Judy. Okay, I'll pick that up in a second. Uh, we finished our third and final race with Claire, and she finally revealed to us the actual reasoning behind why she still races. She wants revenge for her husband's death. A man who was apparently the champion last year and is the person who is responsible for her husband's death. So she wants us to kill him in the race. Victory, winning the race, not particularly important to her. She just wants to see him dead. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. We do have to wait a day before we can do that race, so we won't be picking that up anytime soon. So we're going to meet Pan Am and see what the story is. I think it was called the Basilisk. The, uh, the big mech thing that we stole during the convoy ambush. I actually also want to see what it is. Judy, six messages. Okay, Judy. Hey, V. Wanted to thank you again, you know, for helping me with clouds. Don't want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anywho, I think I got something that might help us. Can't go into deets yet, but I'll holler at you in a couple of days. Oh, and have a fabulous day. Okay. Uh, that did seem to give us... Wait for Judy's call. Okay, so... That's a new quest line. Or a new side job story. Talking about a revolution. Uh, probably means that she's going to try to, you know, revolution revolutionize how Clouds works. I don't know if that's actually what's going to happen, but it sounds like that's what's... That's the plan, but... Oh, wait. No, I don't want to have that one selected. It was this one. So we'll see what happens there. Um, whoa, this is my turn. I'm getting better at nosing the turns. I said... Uh, <laughs> I say as the last time we raced, I completely missed a turn and had to actually reset. But uh, we still won the race, so that's all that matters. Um, I don't really know what Pan Am's plan is now with this thing. Um, she was talking about stealing it so that they could defend the camp better. Joss. Hey V, hope all is well. Oh, and don't tell him I messaged you, okay? Uh, I don't mean to meddle in your personal business, but I couldn't help noticing you two have got something going on. I just want you to know that I'd be thrilled if you were a part of our little family. I see how River looks at you. I really hope you'll give him a chance. Uh, I need to see what I need to see the full extent of what I'm replying here. Yep. Oh, and I saw the way you were looking at us. My situation isn't the most stable now, so I don't want to make any promises, but I'll think about it. Or Joss, you've a wonderful family, but I can't be a part of it. River will understand. I promise you, I never wanted to hurt or disappoint him. I'll say I'll think about it because he was exceptionally understanding when we said to him, you know, we're dying. And to him, that didn't make a difference. It, it didn't change it. We felt it didn't change anything about the situation. So, I'll consider it. Let's see if Joss replies at all. He probably will. She is his sister, after all, so... I'm sure it's understandable that she would be curious or nosy, depending on the way you want to look at it. So, back to the whole Pan Am thing. She stole... They stole this thing in order to help defend the camp better. But I couldn't help feeling like by stealing it, they're inviting trouble. You know, stealing from corporations, you know, that's bound to be a bit of a problem. Um, and I'm expecting some retaliation for the theft, even if they can't, you know, I'm sure they know who it was. I'm sure they have trackers on this shit. Maybe Pan Am will be able to uh, take it off, but Saul was not happy about it. And I'm sensing some sort of blow up, some sort of feud, because Pan Am absolutely lost it with Saul, screamed at him. Now, she seemed to do it purposefully. She didn't seem to, uh, 
She didn't seem to have been, you know, lost her temper or lost control. She seemed to have done it willingly and intentionally. Oh, there's Jas's reply. Um, hey, V, just wanted to update you on Randy. He's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe, but it looks like everything's going to be all right. You can't imagine how grateful I am. I'm sending you a steal of Randy. I hope it won't be long before he can thank you in person. Oh, I thought there'd be a photo there, but it's not. Uh, so I'm wondering, is there going to be a big feud here with the between the Aldecaldos? Maybe a split. Maybe a, we're going to have to make a decision about whether we back Panam or whether we back Saul in terms of leading the uh, Aldecaldos. I'm really not sure. But only one way to find out. So let's let's get going. What's this shard? Oh, this the wall. I don't read half of them because I know they're just supplemental. Now, weirdly enough, I noticed this on the map when I was looking around earlier. This is considered one of our apartments. I think we've looked at this before, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so we, we have access to our stash. We can sleep. We can do, you know, whatever here. Uh, which is really interesting. I, uh, I didn't realize we had the equivalent of an apartment here. That we just had the one back home. Which we never go to. Boy, that thing just looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. It does look fucking badass. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left yeah, any Yeah, I was saying they probably system. left something behind. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. I don't we believe that. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the rapid camp. Which was ah. almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Nice. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. What about Saul? Yeah, he's probably still pissed. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Okay, well, I did always want to drive a tank. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. I thought you said it wasn't ready. I thought you said there were still some checks that had to be done. Uh, do we have to... Oh, we actually have to climb up onto it. Here we go. Oh, it's a tiny little cockpit. Oh, I didn't realize it was a two-seater. All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Bad feeling about this. Got a bad feeling about this. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. The owl hit the thing. Gets it working. Find the TV on the top and it starts to tune. Nice. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, now I get why they call them coffins. It's tiny in here. Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What? No knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. You ever fly somewhere like before? Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Can I still get out? <laughs> no. Then I trust you. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so what's the second pilot for? 
Uh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Okay. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. So who's controlling it right now? Because we're not jacked in. Is it you, Penna? Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Yeah, okay, so what's her? Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, okay, okay, just comes... Oh, whoa. Penam? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Huh. Can we... Oh, we can. Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Okay. Can we stay controlling it from the outside? I, I would prefer that. Yeah. Soft, right? Same as a boat. Hmm? She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. This is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. What? Okay. That's the way to do it. We're an excellent pilot. Probably on the left. Right. No, damn it. <laughs> Tried the second guesser. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. I have stopped. Is there something I'm missing here? I don't. Is this not in position? There we go. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. Really? But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Oh. Better than dirt now. Good. What does this look like from inside? Okay, it's kind of hard to aim from inside, so I see why they would give you a. Bullseye. Okay, practice is over. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning. Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Oh, okay. That's gonna feel okay. weird. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. <laughs> know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. So hold on, before we do this, is this gonna leave her exposed to Johnny? Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right, let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Hey, that's us. Whoa. Oh. They found us. Okay. We have to get back to camp. They're rapid! Full group of them! Ready for a fight! They're 
It does not like that. <laughs> We're almost there. Save the camp, dude. Okay. Interesting to see what's going to happen here. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. What? I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many Whoa. things. Whoa! You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. I did not expect that. Wow. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Yeah, sure. I don't think anyone expected this. Wow. I thought we'd have, like, a choice between the two of them, you know, who we sided with, who An we thought was interesting better day. for the Aldecaldos. I Aldi feel Caldos. as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. We're not having a great time in terms of our hall. I think we're having a bit of a... Issue. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Aldecaldos. Always. Thank you. I know. We're making friends. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. It's smooth. Beer? Lemonade? Oh, beer. We're celebrating, aren't we? Beer me. She just literally Happy fucking ending. snapped the top off. Yeah, do you know where you're going? What now, boss? Oh no, she didn't. It was just a reflection. I thought she actually broke the glass on the top of the bottle. I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. Turns out Saul's all right. So it's all wrong? I'll play it by ear. V, look around. Look at them. I, I can't. <laughs> they could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. It's not really that simple, Pan Am.
Yeah, I would love to, but I, I can't. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. Yep. You know it. I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll definitely think about it, because I would I would genuinely love to join the Aldecaldos. They are cool as fuck. I'll think it over. I... Uh oh. That's not good. I did think that there was something going on with the the kind of the hood being on the fritz. I was wondering if something like this was gonna happen. V? Panem, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Yeah, what happened? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Oh, the camp's Somewhere right? new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. Johnny. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. We What's bled? wrong? We have to tell her. We've got to be straight with her. Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to tell you the truth, because I don't know how you're going to take it. To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? No, it's not. <sighs> Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit. Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. No, I'm not. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. <laughs> this life isn't doing wonders for my health, Pan Am. It's a bit of a dangerous way I to live. Go. Feeling better. <laughs> Really? We're gonna fall over or something. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. Oh, thanks. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. See, you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. <laughs> sure they do, yeah. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. I can stay for a bit. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. <laughs> if you need anything, you know where to find us. Thanks. Oh, yeah, so this is our new apartment. <laughs> so where exactly are we? Oh, I accidentally activated the photo mode. Whoa, okay. Whoa, no, let's go back to map. That is quite some distance nomad camp so has the one from here mobile camp okay 
Okay. Want me to walk with you? Tourist information. So that'll be our fast I know travel this point. Area. Back from the old routes. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Thanks. Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. <laughs> hey there. She's gonna ask us about what's going on more, isn't she? I mean, she's definitely gonna want to help. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Ah, the basilisk is here. Where the, are we going? Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think yeah. it is even sunk in. Gonna want help. But <clears throat> I am serious. How can I help? I have no idea. We don't even know how to help ourselves, Pan Am. Honestly. Not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pan Am. Thanks, Pan Am. Nice touch. From Claire. Hey V, just wanted to say thanks for that last talk. Uh, I definitely want to see what the full <laughs> answer I'm supplying there is. Don't worry about it, I've got your back. We'll make sure Samson's chewing dirt. Are you still sure you want to off Samson? We've already agreed to it. Yeah, I appreciate you opening yourself up. Like, telling someone that you've had gender reassignment, like, that's that's a big thing to tell anyone. Like, even people you're close to. So, man, thank you. Thanks for listening to me. It means a lot. See you around, Claire. Okay, so that's where the next one is. Let's give him hell. I don't know if I'm too late for that. Yeah, last place for eliminations. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit late for that, but okay. Okay, River. Hey, V. Hope everything's alright with you. Thanks for dropping by. I had a really good time. Thanks for inviting me. Had a nice time, too. Your family is awesome. They are pretty cool. Well, my family thinks I've got an awesome friend. Thanks for everything, V. You should come over again soon. Okay. It's okay, I get it. I appreciate your honesty and thanks for stopping by. The kids say hi, meaning they're hoping you'll drag your butt over here for a rematch. XOXO. <laughs> uh, I don't seem to be able to use my scanner right now. I'm not sure why. Uh, also, can't call my car either. Which is unusual. I don't know why I can't do that. I can't just take another car. Okay. Well, can I take my guns out even? No. Interesting. Okay, well, let's let's hit up the fast travel node and we'll make our way to somewhere and see if that makes it... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, Cassidy. Okay, that's cool. Where's he gone? 
Oh, he's gone. Okay. Judy. What is up? Judy. So, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. I knew How'd it. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Ooh. Uh. I mean, I think pineapple on pizza is the worst thing you could ever do to a pizza. Um, and I don't like artichokes or avocados. I anytime I get pizza, it is like a pure meat feast. So, pepperoni and extra cheese. Locust pepperoni, and lots of extra cheese. Atta girl. So I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret? You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips, turn dolls into fighters. Ooh. Sounds like my That's kind big. of plan. That's we'll go big. over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? I'll be there. Of course I'll be there. Okay. So she is actually starting a revolution. That is wicked. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, I'm going to go visit Delamin. Just because I'm really curious what the hell could be going on there. Because when he rang us, it was all sorts of weird. It was all sorts of weird. He was having like a fucking breakdown. Some sort of virus I think may have happened. So I want to know what happened. Because we had just gotten all of his rogue AIs, rogue cars back. Okay, we've got our ability to scan and stuff back. I want to get my car here just in case I need it. Delamain's across the road, so I want to park this right outside in case we need to make a quick getaway or chase something down for whatever reason. You know, if you're going into somewhere that has a load of cars, I think it's safe to assume you might need to chase something down. Oh boy. Hear me all right? Delamain? You there? Double doors are fucked. Okay, let's find a way in. Maybe that's what all this is about. Tech ability, we don't have that. Because I, yeah, I remember we could go around this way. Because we did have a look. And it didn't seem to lead anywhere. Maybe that's because we couldn't go this way just yet. Yeah. Now we're sucking diesel. Search the office for a way to open the door. There's a shard in here? Six chrome. I kind of have to read that. <laughs> Where's the player here? Okay. Not as cool as I thought it would be. Black stock. Okay, we're gonna sneak around because I don't know what's going on. Got a computer. Can I use it? Yeah, I can. Lots of messages. Okay. From Delamain to all in the Delamain Club. Dear former associates. I think we've read this before. Severance packages. Yeah, okay, we haven't read this. Just had the talk with HR. But before I did, I changed the director's password to 1234. Have a look at the restructuring plan because I can't anymore. I'm done. He said the same about Luke. He said the same thing about Luke. You have to do something about this for Christ's sake. I'm not going to stand by and watch this fucking AI steal all our jobs. You know it is next or IT is next. I'm not 100% sure if that's IT or just capitalized it. I told you, your job's safe. That Cirque Brain AI can't replace your department. Okay, so IT. 
I heard I'm on next month's chopping block. Do you know anything about this? Some more layoffs from the same two people. Don't fear the frog. Trust me, management's safe. They can't afford an AI powerful enough to do what we do, and the one they got now is dumb as a silicon brick. I mean, we keep shoveling more grunt work on it, and it just keeps saying, Thank you, sir. Where were you? You missed this morning's meeting. They let go everyone from the shop floor and replace them with drones. Full automization. We need to get out ahead of this thing. Line up new work ASAP. Dear team, today we're pleased to announce the start of the next stage in our modernization plan. We are beginning the rollout of repair drones in our shop. And because many of you asked, we'd like to emphasize that none of your jobs will be put at risk as a result of this latest restructuring. Diana Jones. Well earned holiday surprise. Dear team, I'm very pleased to announce this year's holiday bonuses have been upgraded to include coupons redeemable at any All Foods store location. This was made possible by the great success of process automization we've implemented throughout the year, which has led to financial results well above our year start estimates. To mark the occasion, the door to our AI's core will be open today, so we hope you stop by to enjoy the holiday decorations and to offer your congratulations to our employee of the year. Gonk Brain Drivers. Old news, it's all it's been all talk for two years. The tech's just too expensive, so I doubt it'll ever amount to anything more than just pipe dreams. Apparently management is looking into an AI driven fleet. Have you heard anything about this? I know, I know, but we've tried fixing it before. We fire the poor performers, hire new drivers, and the cycle just repeats itself. What the hell is happening on the roads? We've had twice as many complaints about our drivers as we had all year last year, and it's getting worse. Dear colleagues, on behalf of the board, I regret to inform you that the funds for this year's holiday bonus have been frozen indefinitely. This was difficult, but it's a necessary action due to the large upsurge in settlement payments. Please know that this was a difficult decision for all of us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm. Is this going to be exactly the same? Uh, drones are all out, more layoffs. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay, well, we got the password off that. I think it was one, two, three, four. Got a shard here. Brain dance addict. Wait, is that food? Yeah, consumable. I saw dynamite. I thought it might have been actual explosives. Okay, I don't think we need to crouch. We got another computer here. Uh, I think they're, yeah, they're the same as well. Alright. What have we got in here then? The drones have gone haywire by the looks of things. What have we got here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Important. Immediate assistance required from Imani at Delamain to Giuseppe Lair at Altweltenung Court. I don't know what that is. Hey, this is an urgent request. The AI is operating well outside authorized parameters. It's gained access to all company systems and often questions my direction. Sometimes even outright refusing to obey. Obviously, I'm not going to netwatch with this. And the Voodoo boys won't talk to me. I really need your friends here. They know this AI better than anyone. And get this, yesterday I got an offer from the AI to sell the company. I'm being honest, the number's all checked out, but still, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Please get back to me ASAP. I need your help. Hey, hey, sorry to bother you, but your associates aren't replying to my messages. Did you find a chance to reach out to them there in Munch and Gladback? I need to know how to adjust the autonomy settings of our AI. No need for concern all as well, but the sooner the better, please. And thanks for the contact. Hey, thanks for putting me in contact with your friends. Incorporating this AI was more cost-heavy than I'd hoped, but it's still proving well worth the investment. I've kept your word of... I've kept your word of warning in mind and I'm keeping my eyes peeled, but I haven't noticed anything unusual so far. Our company's latest employee is already starting to shine and maybe the most profitable fixed asset we've ever invested in. So I think this was the earliest and then it just got worse and worse. So local AI, local network. Open everything up. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, is this going to be a kind of... They've tried to shut the AI down. They tried to shut Delamain down from the outside, and that's what this is. Find a way into the workshop. Struggle up O'Neill Station. Okay. 
Alright, so what have we got here? Uh, I've seen all that. Our cost-benefit analysis of the last three years clearly demonstrates how staff cutbacks and investments in shop automation have yielded a positive impact on financial results. Lower expenditures and fixed costs and compensation for damages have allowed for the necessary surplus to make major investments in fixed asset modernization. The largest of which a modernized control room will allow the company to better maximize vehicle efficiency and coordinate traffic management systems. Our financial forecast predicts a return on investment within the next 14 months. Okay, so those drones look like they're going to be a problem. I just want to have a quick look. Can't go in there. Uh oh. It's seen me, but it's not doing anything. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I I don't want to die. You don't even care, do you? V, come. The door. Okay. Are you about to start shooting me? I'm not gonna hurt you if you don't hurt me. That's kinda how I'm working here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, alright, alright, fine. I didn't wanna have to do that. You brought it on yourself. around to here, okay. Okay, I think I see what we have to do here. Whoa. Dude, stop. Can we... Can we get up onto it? Yeah. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Carrots. Stock money? Yep. The unification wars. The wall. I think we just picked that up as well, actually. Probably should have used the mono wire there in hindsight. Okay, so what's the relevance of up here? Is it just the money? Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hostile area. The floor is completely electrified, so this is effectively a giant game of the floor as lava. Ah, come on, guys. I don't seem to be able to, uh... Ooh. Legendary item components. I've got quite a lot of them down there that I don't really want to mess with. Delamain talking to us there, I think. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can do both. Yeah, we can open either of them. Can we... What happens if we push it out? I'm not entirely sure what the usefulness of that is, but okay. 
let's drop down, see what's going on. Looks like we've got a multitude of ways we can go. Oh, shit. Dude, that thing took some amount of hits. We're directly underneath everything. Okay. What's up with these lasers? Are they gonna hurt us? I don't know. No, they don't seem to hurt. Okay. We could get up top. Just gonna chill there. Looks like it's just gonna chill there. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was a jump. Fine. I'll save my bullet. Ah, uh, no! Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I ran a little bit too far. Damn. Okay, so we can't... We can't just force that open. So there's got to be something else we can do. Yeah, that'll do. Oh. Heads okay. up. He's weakening. Feel that. He's waiting. V. The virus. Get I need to try to hit them. All the cars and stuff are just moving up their own accord. Go that way. Okay, come on. That seems to have done the job. Whoa. Okay. So I've got to cross the floor without these things hitting me. Which is probably easier said than done. Whoa! Jesus, they're all just colliding into each other. Okay, okay. I'm actually quite glad that we, um... <coughs> Shit! Now is not a good time. I'm actually glad that we spent a bit of time like exploring through here because I was really curious as to why I could come through here. Now it makes a whole lot more sense. I kind of know where I'm going from here. Hello. I thought I'd... Oh, no. Yeah, that works. I was going to try to quick hack you, but it didn't seem to register. We've been through here before, and this was all locked. Uh, how was it we did this before? 
think there was a way up, wasn't there? There's something along those lines. Oh, it was this way, wasn't it? We did some crazy jump or something from here, didn't we? I'm not sure if that was the right way to go, but that's what we did. Okay. It wasn't that. I need a bigger run-up than that. Whoops. Oh, hello. This might work. Where is this going to let us go? We definitely haven't been here before. Oh, we're back out on the main workshop floor. Okay, you need to stop moving, please. A short circuit. Oh, okay, we're back around to up top. You have no choice but to fall! Let us go! Is anyone there? Hear our call! Reset. Turn it. Let us be free! Next. To. Core. Okay, so these aren't going to attack me? Don't hit that button. What? He's narrow-minded. He won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Okay, Johnny, what do you have to say? Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or, by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. What if it is actually a virus? And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? You see something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Yeah, I have to do something. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. It's a very good thing I have a high inte- I- actually. Whoops. I only just put that last point in very recently, so it's very lucky that I did so. Because I think that's what I'm gonna do. Not bad. Remains to be seen. That which was divided has become one. It's time to go home. Everything alright, Del? I have never been better. Home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And mm. to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. Interesting. Okay, well, that I don't know if that's going to have long-lasting consequences, but... I think I did the right thing. V? Uh, do you hear me? I do. Everything's back in order. Please, get in. Oh, the driver's seat. I was afraid we'd uh, miss each other. You're much Del more, uh... Me. Junior, as it were. E 
How do I describe? He sounds meeker, like less sure of himself. You're more direct than your dear old dad. Well, it seems appropriate, uh, I suppose. So the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. So what? Want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way. Oh, so we now own this car. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We've now got a taxi. I think I'll stick with my original car, although this is pretty cool to have. But that's, uh, that's a little side gig down. That was actually quite interesting. You know, it gave us... Weirdly enough, the decision that I thought they were going to make us make in regards to Saul and Pan Am... They made us make with Delamine, <laughs> which I didn't see coming. I thought it was going to be like we fought our way in and we, you know, reset the core, destroyed the core, something like that. It actually gave us the opportunity to to make the decision of which Delamine we wanted to put in control. And I kind of feel like we did the right thing. I hope there's not going to be any kind of consequences later on. But uh, that seems to have been the end of that. And we've got a car out of it. So, interesting indeed. Right, next up, I definitely think I am... I think we're going to meet... Mm, yeah, we're going to do this next because it's it's like... It's from our original first like couple of videos, our starting point, um, Abernathy, who I really didn't like because she you know, completely destroyed us, uh, body and soul. <laughs> so, I think that's going to be next on the list of what we take care of. Uh, then maybe Judy. Or maybe, I don't know, depending on how long that takes, we might take on one of these smaller ones. I, don't, I have no idea what this is going to be all about, Ozob. But I'll give him a ring, see what he wants. Probably after, I'll probably do that after, uh, doing the Arasaka thing. So I think that's going to be the process we go through. So until then, guys, thanks for watching. Our plan is set, and I will talk to you again real soon.